Welcome to Osaka, Japan, where they live very minimalistly and everything just makes sense. I am at an Airbnb in Osaka, Japan, and I wanted to take you guys around for a little stroll. There's a little market nearby, and I wanted to show you guys. Enjoy the video. This is the view. Yes, that is a cemetery over there. Then we got some temples over here, and I'll show you guys the Airbnb. Don't mind the mess. There's four of us staying here, and it was about 80 bucks in total, I believe for three nights. It's really nice. I like how they have like, like they got like flashlights installed in the walls. It's very narrow and steep, but it works. A lot of things are very compact in Japan. Like people don't take up too much space. Everyone's to themselves and everyone's kind of like minimalist. Like it's very I don't know, I like, I like the way of living here. It's really nice. This is the kitchen. Look, I like this nice big sink they got here. It's the table. Another flashlight here. They have switches available and some games. Nice art on the walls, nice cool mirror. Very narrow, but like I'd buy a place like this. This is cool. I like this thing really fascinates me. The toilets in Japan, I don't know what it is. They're just next level. They all have bidets. This is not about the bidet. This is about this part. When you flush the toilet, the water that goes to fill up the tank is used to wash your hands. And then the excess water fills up the tank. Crazy. I don't even know what to say to that. Like, the engineering and the, the the stuff they use here is just insane. This is a cute little little washroom area over here, and got some laundry. This might be a two-in-one washer and dryer. Probably is. Another mind-blowing thing. I didn't know that existed. There's like a shower, like you shower here, but this is also like the floor, I think. Like the drains there, I don't know. I don't know, man, everything's everything's new to me in Japan. I feel like a, I was telling my, my family, I feel like a toddler, because everything's so new to me, and I'm just like, what's this? And I'm like touching it, I don't know what it is. But it's very, it's very, interesting traveling to the other side of the world like I'm from Canada and being able to just travel literally as far as you can go almost on the other side of the world and being, being able to experience how they live how Japanese people live it's just so cool to me I find it so beautiful okay now enough of me talking let's go to the street Hello. Italian. Sorry? Italian. Sorry? Hitori Kanao. Oh, this is you here? Oh, okay. Have a good day. I walk out of the Airbnb. And this old lady starts talking to me. I have no idea what she's saying. She's so cute though. I don't know. I have no idea what she was saying to me. I think she said she's she's a neighbor. I think that's what she was saying. I don't know. She said like I live here or something. Not that I know what she's saying, but she's pointing at her house. All right, we got a nine minute walk to the market. Let's do it. This is our Airbnbs right beside these temples. They're so cool. Just want to show you guys. This is the hallway we came out of. Over there. Like look at their architecture, just so different. These little patios, the balcony sticking out. Look at this place. See when I when I came to Japan I was picturing this, like traditional. They have it obviously, but I don't know if I'm allowed in. 
So we took a bullet train from Tokyo. Now we're in Osaka right now. Have a good day. She's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what that button does. That could be like an emergency button. I don't know. It's not in English. Is this one open? Can I just walk in there? That'll be for another video. If that's open, I'll go check that out. If you want me to go check out these temples, comment down below. Let me know. Man, I want to jaywalk so bad right now. Somebody here. Am I going to get fucking arrested? Oh, okay, it's green. Okay, okay. Don't want to break the rules in Japan. Don't want to get in trouble. I like how their... Their streets are like infused with the sidewalks. So there'll be like cars driving down where there's like thousands of people. It's just walking everywhere. It's so interesting. All I know how to say in Japanese is hello and thank you. So, <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. You know, it's. I think it's kind of cool getting lost. Like you're not fully lost because you know you got phone cell reception, but like just not knowing where you are is. Just, I think it's so fun. Got a little garden over here. Look, they just got freaking Brabus G wagons over there. Oh my goodness. There's. Just beautiful cars, beautiful plants. Look at this. It's in the middle of the city. There's just plants, gardens everywhere. Whoa. It's like an aloe vera, but it's like very long. I've never seen it like that before. Interesting. Okay, where do I turn? I gotta turn here mechanic shop or someone's house I don't know what that is get some tires here these vending machines are like literally everywhere I would like a drink do I have enough change for a drink I might one sec let me get a quick little drink for you guys Betting machines are huge in Japan. I gotta get I gotta get something for the vlog. Oh, what should I get? Um, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Premium coffee bean, go get this. But instead of going in, they come out. They have very minimal, like, garbage access, so I'm just gonna chug this. There's always, usually, garbages for, for drinks near the vending machines, so I'm gonna drink this here. Don't wanna, don't wanna carry it around. This is what we're drinking. It says made out of premium coffee beans. I wonder if they're Japanese coffee beans, I have no idea. It's like a black iced coffee. And it's pretty good. Better than Tim Hortons black iced coffee. I will say that. Yeah, not bad. Hopefully there's not too much caffeine here. I don't want to be like jittering everywhere. Made with premium coffee beans. Enjoy the finest taste of luxury. I would say out of a lot of black coffees that I've had, it's, it's pretty up there. And I'm not being biased. Yeah, it's not bad. I could just be excited to try it, you know, but I think it's good. Probably like a six and a half, seven. You know, it's good. It's not like amazing, but it's good. Their parking spots are tiny here. Their cars are even tinier. 
Ugh. Like if I laid down in front of this car. I want to show you how small this car is. I'm wider than that car. That's how small some of these cars are. Like the width, I could relate the width to a car in Canada, probably like a Fiat or something. It should just be straight and then a right. That's 300 meters, we're almost there. Tell me if you see litter anywhere, please. Barely. A lot of these bikes like, aren't even like locked up, which blows my mind. Yeah, if we were in uh, like Canada or anywhere in North America, I feel like that bike would be stolen within half an hour. Oh dude, I'm like the only white person here. Like, I know it's, this, I'm in Japan, so it makes sense, but I'm just not used to it. This is me being honest, I'm not used to this. I don't feel unsafe or uncomfortable. I feel totally safe. Look, they have like these car elevators here. There's like car, I don't, how do they get the cars up here? Oh, there's like this lift back there. Lifts up the car, puts the car in. Look how many cars you can, look how much space you can save if you stack the cars on top of each other. Oh, this spot's pretty cool. Look at this little area. Oh, it's so cool here. Oh, this is so sick. But... Start walking down here. Fuck it. This is so sick. <clears throat> Hello. Oh wow, these are big. Can I can I go see them? Wow. Dude, big. Arigato. That was the biggest crab I've ever seen in my life. It was like bigger than my torso. <clears throat> like there's little restaurants everywhere. Big there. Oh, these sea urchins? No way. I might try one. It's twenty dollars for one. Is it uh, two thousand for one? Oh wow! Yes. For just the one piece? One piece, okay. One piece. No, is it? So it's two thousand for one piece? Oh yes, yeah. one piece. Uh, and then twenty-five for the whole. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll come back, okay? Okay, okay thank, thank, you. thank you. Sumo wrestlers. This is Kobe. <laughs> is Kobe B? Kobe B, number one. A5? Wow. How much for one? Three thousand for one. This is A three A four. Oh, look at the marbling. Yeah, way different, right? Yeah. Thank you. This is what I imagined when I came to Japan. These little markets. All this delicious looking food. I, I want to try sea urchin. I really want to try one. It's $20 for half a sea urchin. Whoa.
for those who don't know, I'm, I'm vegetarian, but I, I like I'm interested in their meat as well. But like I I, I want to try it because I want to try everything. But I won't like eat it on the regular, you know. I just want to try it. Eat Kobe beef once to said I did it to say I did it and experience it. You know, I'm in Japan and eating Kobe beef. That's that's amazing. Let's try these apples. The pear is massive. Orange juice. Ice cream on a melon. I wonder how much juice I can get out of a out of an orange. See what I meant by like there's cars just driving in the market. Like everyone's walking here and this guy's just driving here. Hello. Uh, can I get an orange juice? Thank you. 200? So you, you scramble the inside. Oh, that makes sense. I got an award. Arigato. Thank you. Interesting. See the juice in there? Let's go, let's go try it out. Very interesting. I never had an orange like this. So it's it's kind of cool because like you don't have to open it up. Let's try it out. Yep, tastes like a pretty good orange. <laughs> this is how orange juice should be served. It's like, I don't know, all the work taken off the rind, you know? Not worth it. There's probably as much juice in here as like a, a small juice box. Just gotta squish the shit out of it. It's my first time ever doing that. That's pretty cool. Honestly, if you are someone who's been keeping up with my videos, you probably know like I don't record in public the most and like I used to be scared of it, but now after doing it for a couple days in Japan, I'm not like scared anymore. Like there'd probably be times where it's awkward and people stare, but I'm not bothered by it, to be honest. People are gonna look regardless if you have a camera with you or not. And like, just the, the lesson of coming to Japan and forcing myself to do this was enough in the, do in the dollar sense, like enough value gained from it. Because now I'm kind of breaking through my fears of vlogging in public. So I've, I don't know, I've, I've learned in that way. And also I've embraced the culture, so I don't know. This is definitely a trip of a lifetime, to be honest. All right, let's keep walking. It's all for the seafood lovers out here. Sorry if you're vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. You know, it's just part of the culture. Got to accept it. 
get a fruit skewer. Oh, it's freaking. Hello. Hello. Is it, is it sugar? Sugar. 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 Oh. This is regular? No sugar. No sugar, okay. What's, what's it called again? There's a name for it, right? Sato? Sato. Sato? Sato. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe I'll get one, okay? Which one? Uh, maybe this one? 500? Okay. Yeah, that's good. This one, yeah. There you go. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. These have sugar on them. Oh, candy apple. Mm. Got a Pokemon machine here. So you can get a card and a pack. No way. I think it's 500. So you have to use 100 yen. Okay. Should I do for the vlog? I might have to. I don't have much money left, but. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I don't know whose shot this is. Hello. Is the Pokemon machine yours? Uh, yes, it's Pokemon. Yeah, can you give me one? Change? Yeah, change, okay. yeah. Pokemon 500. 500, thank you. All right. Oh, it's like it just in an alleyway. I already spent $150 in Pokemon cards, by the way. So $500 is basically $5 in Canadian. What's uh, cold? Let's go. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. That's so sick. That's the second one. Just these little machines are so smart. They got me hooked. If you subscribe and you comment down below that you subscribe, I'll send you this pack. How about that? I want to open this. I'll send this to you. Only new subscribers though. If you want me to try a sea urchin, Comment down below. I want to try it. No way. I've always wanted to do this. This is where you put your you put your feet in here. You put your feet in there, and then they eat off your dead skin. Fuck. 
five minutes, five dollars. I'm gonna do that another day. But that's sick, I've always wanted to do that. That is so cool. It's called the fish spot. Fish spot. One game, seven shots, five bucks. Not gonna try that just yet. I'm here for three days, like, and I wanna, you know, space things out. I wanna do everything in one day. What? Is this Wagyu? Yes, Wagyu. Wow. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'll try it. It's free. Okay, I'll try it. Is it A5? Yes, sir. A5. Go try it. My first time having Wagyu. Same as this one, sir. Very soft. Yes, sir. Wow. This one here? Yes, the same as this one. Wow. Thank you. Is that garbage? Oh, right here. Thank you. Arigato. I just had. Wagyu A5 beef in Japan for free. A little skewer. I wanted to wait to have it with um, David, but he said it was free, so I was like, let's try it. It was actually really soft and really good. It's very tender. God, there's so much to do here, like, it just keeps going. He, like, doesn't stop. Okay, this will be a, a part one because there is just too much to do here. Maybe I'll do a part two tomorrow. If you guys want to see more of these, just let me know. If you want to see me go into a restaurant, trying different foods, let me know. 